He had a few passions in his life. The first one was legal services, his family, movies, and wonderful food. We were both uh, impeccable dressers and had incredible fashion taste. He had a hard time seeing he was legally blind, but he always knew it was you. Rick Teitelman had probably more admirers and more friends than any person I've ever known. He cared about people. He not only cared about the person, he cared about their families, he knew about their children. It was never about Rick telling you about himself or trying to promote himself. It was about Rick wanting to know about you. He really uh, showed for me and for many uh, like me um, what's possible really because here he was, uh, a brilliant lawyer, um, but also had challenges like his blindness, and, uh, but yet he overcame those obstacles and rose to be on the Supreme Court of Missouri. Even after becoming a judge, legal services always came first with him. I could call this the building that Rick built. Through his influence and his friends, we came to have a home of our own. He never let political differences or differences of opinion sway him from his goal, justice for all. But he never lost his eye on the prize, and the prize was quality access to justice. And now we're in the process of selecting the monument that'll be at his grave site, and on that monument will be the words, in quotes, justice for all. The Justice for All Ball, uh, in my view, is that uh, is a perfect example of uh, what Rick Teitelman meant to the cause of equal access to justice for all. Rick was so well loved uh, that it actually helped us sell this idea and made the first event as successful as it was and carried it through until today. He not only cared about people, but he had a special uh, interest in young people. Rick was a mentor, absolutely, but he was a mentor in a very interesting way. He believed people could do anything they put their minds to. And usually if he thought you could do it, you could do it. He had this amazing ability to uh, bring out your thoughts and your belief about what you thought should be done. And then after you would tell and share what you thought uh, would be a good way to go, he'd say, that's great, that's brilliant. Here's a couple of ideas you might want to add to that. If he met you, you got a note for everything, or you got a phone call. When there was a birth or a graduation or a significant event, there'd be a note from Rick. You know, what, how could we remember Rick? Well, we could start calling each other at 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. and leaving voicemails, because that's what Rick did. Hello. Hi, this is Rick. Hope you're doing okay. Take care. Bye. So I would save so many of his messages. Um, and uh, so I could play them because there was nuggets of wisdom in so much of what he was always sharing. One of the little things about Rick is his scarf. And so um, I thought, well, I would, bring, I would bring the scarf and say, Rick, we've got this. Well, you take care. This is Rick Titleman signing off.